Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll be diving into the incredible life story of Louis Zamperini, an Olympic athlete, war hero, and an inspiration to millions. Join us as we explore his journey from a mischievous youth to his triumphs in the world of track and field, and the harrowing experiences he endured during World War II. He was one of the quickest men alive, rising from poor beginnings to compete in the Olympics. But, when World War II arrived, could this athlete-turned-war hero outrun death itself? This is the tale of Louis Zamperini and what became known as the miracle over the Pacific. Louis Zamperini was born on January 26, 1917, in Olean, New York. However, his family later moved to Torrance, California, where he attended Torrance High School. In his early years, Louis was known as a troublemaker, getting into all sorts of mischievous activities. It was during this time that his older brother, Pete, recognized his potential and decided to intervene. Pete believed that channeling Louis's energy into something positive could change his life. That's when he introduced Louis to the world of track and field. Under Pete's guidance, Louis discovered his passion and talent for running. With dedicated training and hard work, he transformed from a troubled youth to a disciplined athlete. Louis's determination and natural ability allowed him to excel in track and field, and he quickly began setting records. Louis found inspiration in a role model named Glenn Cunningham, a renowned runner. He took up distance running and became more dedicated to the sport. His determination paid off, and by the end of his freshman year, he finished fifth in the All-City C Division 660-yards dash. Louis's dedication to running led to significant improvements. His reputation grew, and people in school started recognizing him by name. Pete emphasized the importance of quitting drinking and smoking if Louis wanted to succeed, and Louis became fanatical about his running. During the summer of 1932, he became undefeated, beating his brother's records and setting a mile record of 4 minutes and 21.2 seconds. His exceptional performances earned him a scholarship to the University of Southern California, USC, where he continued to excel in track and field. At USC, Louis joined the Delta Eta chapter of the Kappa Sigma fraternity. In 1936, at the age of 19, Louis set his sights on the Olympics. With support from his father's railroad connections, he secured a free train ticket to the Olympic trials. Local merchants in Torrance raised funds to support his stay during the trials. While the competition for the 1,500 meters spot was fierce, Louis decided to run the 5,000 meters instead. The race took place during a heat wave, with several runners collapsing due to the extreme temperatures. In a remarkable finish, Louis tied with American record holder Don Lash, securing his qualification for the 1936 Summer Olympics in Berlin, Germany. He remains the youngest American 5000 meters qualifier in history. Louis Zamperini's childhood was marked by challenges, but with the guidance of his brother and his unwavering dedication to running, he transformed from a troubled youth to a promising athlete setting the stage for his future achievements on the international stage. The 1936 Olympics in Berlin brought together world-class athletes from around the globe, including Louis Zamperini. Although Zamperini and his American teammate Don Lash were considered underdogs in the 5,000-meter race, their determination and spirit were unwavering. The race was dominated by Lori Lettinen of Finland, the world record holder and the favorite to win. Zamperini and Lash faced a formidable challenge but remained focused on giving their best performance. Zamperini later shared anecdotes about his time at the Olympics, including his indulgence in the abundance of food available on the boat trip to Europe. As a Depression-era kid who had never experienced such abundance, he enjoyed the opportunity to feast on sweet rolls, bacon, eggs, and more. This newfound luxury resulted in him gaining 12 pounds, which was not advantageous for his running but necessary for his health, as he had previously lost 15 pounds during his intense training in New York's summer heat. 
When the time came for the 5,000-meter race, Zamparini demonstrated his tenacity and resilience. Despite the odds stacked against him, he pushed through the grueling distance, competing against renowned athletes from various countries. Zamparini's efforts resulted in an impressive eighth-place finish in the race, with a time of 14 minutes and 46.8 seconds. Lori Lettinen of Finland, the eventual winner, set an Olympic record with a time of 14 minutes and 22.2 seconds. Zamparini's teammate, Don Lash, finished 13th. What made Zamparini's performance particularly memorable was his remarkable final lap. With a burst of speed, he completed the last lap in just 56 seconds, catching the attention of Adolf Hitler himself. One of the most notable moments of the Olympics came after Louis' race when he had the opportunity to meet Adolf Hitler. Despite the controversy surrounding the games and Hitler's presence, the encounter became a significant moment in Zamparini's life. As the story goes, Hitler shook Zamparini's hand and remarked, Ah, you're the boy with the fast finish. Although Zamparini did not win a medal in the 1936 Olympics, his remarkable finish and his ability to catch the attention of one of history's most controversial figures added an unforgettable chapter to his Olympic journey. In the next segment, we will delve into the unimaginable challenges Zamparini faced during his years as a prisoner of war and the resilience that defined his character. Join us as we continue to uncover the extraordinary life of Louis Zamparini. After the 1936 Olympics, Louis Zamparini's life took an unexpected turn with the outbreak of World War II. Join us as we delve into the unimaginable challenges he faced during his years as a prisoner of war and the indomitable spirit that defined his character. Zamparini enlisted in the United States Army Air Force in September 1941 and earned a commission as a second lieutenant. He was assigned to the Pacific island of Funafuti as a bombardier on the consolidated B-24 Liberator bomber, named Superman. In April 1943, Zamparini and his crew participated in a bombing mission against the Japanese-held island of Nauru. Their aircraft, Superman, was severely damaged during an attack by three Japanese Zeros. Despite sustaining injuries and losing one crew member, Zamparini, credited for administering first aid, saved the lives of two wounded crew members during the return flight. Superman was no longer airworthy, and Zamparini and the surviving crew members were transferred to Hawaii for reassignment. They were given another B-24 bomber named Green Hornet, notorious among the pilots as a defective aircraft. Zamparini, along with some former crewmates from Superman, embarked on a search mission to locate a lost aircraft and crew. However, on May 27, 1943, while on the search, their aircraft experienced mechanical difficulties and crashed into the ocean 850 miles south of Oahu. Only three men survived the crash, Zamparini, pilot Russell Allen Phillips, and Francis McNamara. Adrift at sea, they faced extreme challenges, relying on rainwater, raw fish, and birds for sustenance. They endured shark attacks, a Japanese bomber strafing their life raft, and the loss of their comrade McNamara, whom they buried at sea. After 47 days adrift, Zamparini and Phillips reached the Marshall Islands, where they were captured by the Japanese Navy. From that point, their lives took a harrowing turn as they endured captivity, severe beatings, and mistreatment as prisoners of war. Zamparini was held initially at Kwajalein Atoll before being transferred to the Japanese prisoner of war camp at Funa. After over a year at Funa, he was sent to Tokyo's Mori POW camp and eventually transferred to the Naoetsu POW camp in northern Japan, where he remained until the end of the war. During his time in the camps, Zamparini faced torment from a prison guard known as the Bird, Matsuhiro Watanabe, who would later be included in General Douglas MacArthur's list of the 40 most wanted war criminals in Japan. Zamparini's resilience and strength of spirit were tested under the harshest of circumstances. Despite the brutality and inhumane treatment, Zamparini found solace in the camaraderie of his fellow prisoners and maintained hope for survival. 
He used his resourcefulness and creativity, even sharing Italian recipes to keep their spirits high. Join us in the final segment as we explore the legacy of Louis Zamperini and the lasting impact of his extraordinary life. From the trials of war to his unwavering spirit, Zamperini's story continues to inspire and remind us of the strength of the human spirit. After enduring the trials of war, Louis Zamperini's story did not end with his liberation. Join us as we explore the remarkable post-war chapter of his life and the lasting impact he made on the world. In 1946, Zamperini married Cynthia Applewhite, and together they built a life filled with love, support, and shared experiences. They had two children, Sissy and Luke, who became a source of immense pride and joy for the couple. For days before his 81st birthday, in January 1998, Zamperini had a poignant moment when he ran a leg in the Olympic torch relay for the Winter Olympics in Nagano, Japan. It was a symbolic gesture that brought him back to the land where he had endured the hardships of a prisoner of war. While in Japan, Zamperini made an effort to meet with Matsuhiro Watanabe, also known as The Bird, who had been one of his chief and most brutal tormentors during the war. Despite his willingness to forgive, Watanabe refused to see him. Zamperini sent a letter expressing his forgiveness and desire for reconciliation, but it is uncertain whether Watanabe ever read it. Zamperini never received a response, and Watanabe passed away in 2003. Louis Zamperini's post-war years were filled with dedication and passion. He continued to inspire others through his motivational speeches and humanitarian efforts. His story of resilience, forgiveness, and redemption touched the lives of countless individuals, leaving a lasting legacy of hope and perseverance. He published a memoir, titled Unbroken, a World War II story of survival, resilience, and redemption, which succeeded beyond his wildest dreams. It spent four years on the New York Times bestseller list and a shocking 14 weeks. At number one. And soon, Hollywood came calling. Angelina Jolie directed, the Coen brothers helped write the screenplay, and Jack O'Connell. Starred as Louis Zamperini's story came to the big screen, followed by a sequel that chronicled his religious journey. As for Zamperini himself, he enjoyed 55 years of marriage before his wife passed away and lived to the age of 97. His death in 2014 came 70 years after he was first declared dead in World War II. One more record he set before he went to his reward for outrunning the Grim Reaper. For seven decades, 